Hi everyone, my name is Tanya and I have another video about books, but this time it is also related to languages and language learning. So I wanted to share some tips and also my experience of reading in other languages. So in this video I will share some tips for you, how you can also start reading in other languages that you're learning and how to do it more efficiently and benefit from that process more. So my first advice will be very simple, you just need to kind of understand why you want to read in that language and understand how you can benefit from it because if you will understand what will be the benefits you will have more motivation and it will be easier for you to try and to start and do it so as i see it reading has a lot and a lot of benefits especially for language learning because while reading a book in that language that you learn you can not only learn new words but you can acquire them in the context and experience different levels of that language that you're learning it will depend on the book that you choose if you choose a young adult novel there will be young adult language if you choose a classic book there will be a, an ancient old and beautiful language probably and of course you can immerse yourself and get to know more about that culture and the mentality of people and that the country uh, that speaks this language and you can also discover different cultures and different countries within that one language for example if you're learning spanish you can read books from different spanish-speaking countries once you have your motivation set the second thing that you need to acknowledge is that it will be hard it will be stressful it will be annoying because reading in the language that you're learning especially when your level is not that high can be really difficult there will always be words that you don't know the words that you won't understand and sentences that will make you panic and stuff like this when you're going into reading you need to prepare yourself mentally that you are okay with not understanding 100% of what is said so you need to be okay that you won't be able to understand absolutely everything and this leads us to the third point you should choose books that are appropriate for your level so if your level is beginner or lower intermediate in that language you should probably choose more easy uh, books for example books created or written for children they are of course simpler they use more simple vocabulary and not long um, sentences. If your level is around intermediate, I would advise you to read um, like teenage novels or some of modern novels or like classics but that are not too old. For example, The Catcher in the Rye is like a classic but it's not that old so the language is quite modern, it's not that difficult to read. And when you're already advanced, of course, you can choose any book that you want. For example, classics with more old vocabulary, basically anything that you want, that you want. The next tips will be for how you should read. And of course, you can read however you want. There are, of course, many ways to do it. But I will share just the way I do it and the way I prefer to read. So I prefer to read continuously and don't stop to search for the words that you don't know so for example you're reading a book and you encounter a word that you don't understand and some people would go and translate it but for me it ruins that experience of reading because i just like to read and don't stop so whenever i don't understand a word i don't know it i just underline it or highlight it and first of all, of course, I try to understand it from the context, so I see where it is located in the sentence and how it is surrounded by other words, and I try to understand it. And if I can understand the whole meaning, like of the general meaning of a sentence or a paragraph, I just move on. I will show you how I did it in one French book. 
here on that page i highlighted in pink the words that i didn't know and that i couldn't understand from the context and in uh, in yellow i highlight words that i don't know but i think that i can understand them from the context so once i finish for example a chapter or several pages after you finish reading a certain amount of pages you can go through that pages and look up in the translator or in the dictionary all the words that you didn't know and you can see if your prediction for the meaning for some of the words were correct or not i think it's an important skill in language learning to kind of guess what the word means from the context i think it's very important because in a natural speech you will always hear some words you don't know and you can just understand what the person is saying without asking every single word and yeah also i wanted to mention one little tip so i sometimes well most of the time when i read in a foreign language i read out loud and that really helps me because it is easier to kind of understand what you're reading when you hear all those words like spoken out and pronounced and that also can help you to train your pronunciation and your like speaking skills i think these are all of the tips that i have if you already read in other languages and if you have some tips how you do it you can also share them in the comments and i hope that this video was useful thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video